What's up everyone, it's your boy NornRad89 here, bringing you a special video today, voted on by members of my Discord, they wanted to see my top 5 Adam Sandler movies, and today I'm bringing you that video today, I'm also going to be dropping two honorable mentions at the end of the video, so stay tuned and everything, hope you guys enjoyed the list, this isn't the right list by any means, this is just my personal opinion, I would love to hear from all of you in the comments section, so let's get down to this list, roll it! So my top five Adam Sandler films. This is definitely the ones that I love to watch the most and everything. These are the ones I've given the most rewatches to and I enjoy the most and have the best fun time with. So kick this off with number five and that's going to be Blended. This is definitely one that snuck up on me. This is a 2014 comedy. This is, I believe, the third film that Adam Sandler did with Drew Barrymore. And you can definitely feel their chemistry in this movie. You can definitely feel that they work together easily. I feel like they are like a couple, you know what I mean? Even they aren't in real life. They feel like a couple in the movie, like when they're like starting to fall in love and everything. But this film really came out of nowhere and just kind of hit hard for me because I'm part of a blended family. My wife has a child from her previous relationship and so do I. So it's definitely a movie that hit close to home for me and that's why I loved it a lot. And it's got some really great cameos in it like Terry Crews. Another come together. And there's some other awesome characters in it as well and everything and the kids are really great. And I think it just has a really good story deep down at the heart of it with these two characters who at first can't stand each other but then fate just kind of keeps bringing them back together and there are two parents who are deeply involved in their child's lives and love their children but have a hard time trying to find a way after their other significant other you know what I mean to find out to find somebody else to fall in love with and to carry on the rest of their life with. But it's a really great film that has a lot of good comedy in it, and it made me laugh so many times. So Blended definitely earned its number five spot. Number four is going to be Adam Sandler's Eight Crazy Nights. This is an animated film that he did the screenplay for, and this film is definitely really funny. This film came out of nowhere for me as well, and it just hit hard because... It's a film that I didn't think Adam Sandler would ever do. It's got a lot of great comedy in it, but it's those really dirty and raunchy jokes. So like you might you might not enjoy it. I can see why some people don't enjoy it, but I enjoy it just cuz it's got like it's Adam Sandler at his dirtiest with some of the craziest characters like Whitey Duvall, this silly kind of uh, basketball coach that he has to do community service for so he doesn't go to jail and then he has a sister named Eleanor who has a bunch of problems and there's these characters in it that have like running jokes about them that I could feel some people get uncomfortable about but it just hits so funny for me and it's got so many good moments the, the songs that Adam Sandler wrote for this movie are great as well because there's there's so many great like Hanukkah and Christmas songs in it and everything so it's definitely one of those films that I think is an enjoyable Christmas Hanukkah type movie and like I said it's a film that I didn't think Adam Sandler would ever do and it's just really funny because it's got all his great friends coming back like Rob Schneider and Kevin Nealon all their voices are in here so it's definitely a funny movie if you haven't seen it I definitely recommend checking out Eight Crazy Nights. Number three is going to be an old school Adam Sandler movie and this is going to be Big Daddy with Adam Sandler and then Cole Sprouse and Dylan Sprouse playing the little kids and it's just a really good film because I like Adam Sandler's character in this movie. He plays kind of this jerk who's very irresponsible and doesn't want to grow up at all. He's basically just a giant man child and he thinks that adopting a child will instantly give him responsibility and turn him into a grown-up and then he finds out along the way that it's definitely not as easy as it looks to become a parent at all. And there's just so many great moments between him and Dylan Sprouse and Cole Sprouse that just their chemistry on screen is hilarious. Like all the other characters are funny. Like I think the the lawyers that he gets to work on his side in this movie are really hilarious too. Like Adam Sandler just at this time in, in his career, he was kind of at a high point just putting out movies over and over every year all these movies and Big Daddy was one that was definitely a classic for me and it hits hard like that. 
the ketchup scene, how the kid loves ketchup or when they're throwing the sticks at the roller skaters and they trip and fall and everything. It's just got so many funny moments and I love it. And it's got some of those good little Adam Sandler dirty jokes too as well. So Big Daddy is definitely a classic for me sitting comfortable here at that number three spot. Coming in at number two is going to be Little Nicky. And Little Nicky is definitely one that is probably one of Adam Sandler's funniest, craziest characters. Yes, he has that like funny thing that he does with his voice and his face to do the Little Nicky thing. But it's definitely an interesting story that I thought was definitely like ahead of its time a little bit but it's just got some funny moments in it with the fact that he's the devil's son and he's got two other brothers and they want to see which one's going to be the next ruler of hell harvey keitel plays satan and it's just got some really great characters and funny cameos in this like henry winkler is in it as well Rest in peace to Tommy Lister Jr. He was in this movie. He's a great actor. He plays one of little Nicky's brothers, and it's just really funny movie. Beefy, the talking dog in it that helps little Nicky kind of get accustomed to Earth and everything. It's just got so many classic jokes and funny moments in it, and little Nicky was one that got a lot, a lot of rewatch value when I was a kid. This, is, I think, was one of the earliest first DVDs that I ever actually bought when I was younger, and I used to get a lot of rewatch value. I used to watch the documentary on it and everything. They had a like a rock and roll documentary on the DVD, so it's definitely one that I have a great time with, and still to this day when I find it on TV, I always stop and try to watch Little Nicky, so it sits here comfortable at number two. We are here at my number one, and before we get to my number one pick, consider dropping a like and hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. Now, let's hit this off with my number one pick, my top Adam Sandler film of all time is... That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Yes, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is by far my favorite one. I'm a huge sports fan, and I like... The Gilmore character just because it's I think Adam Sandler at his most outrageous and most aggressive and sometimes I'm like that like I'm, I got a Italian I'm a Jewish and Italian and I got a lot of that in me so sometimes I get really aggressive and I'm really loud with the hands and everything and just the happy Gilmore character really connected with me I think it's really funny it's just got some good moments in it Christopher McDonald plays Shooter McGavin, who's probably one of the best villains in an Adam Sandler movie because he's just so unlikable. Like, you just love to hate him, and that's why it's a great character. And I like Happy Gilmore as, like, his grandma. Like, there's so many cool, like, nice characters in it, but so many characters that you, could like, love to hate, too. And it's just got great funny moments, like when he goes crazy ape shit on the clown and he beats him down at the mini golf place and everything. Just, it is that film that... All the comedy, all the one-liners, they just really hit for me, and it was right up my alley. And like I said, I'm a huge sports fan, and to do this story where you have this guy who really wants to be a hockey player, and he has that aggressive nature and everything, but then ends up finding out that he has another secret talent and can hit the golf ball like no other, it's definitely one of those movies that I think is one of a kind for sure. And it's we're never going to get like too many other comedies like this, and Adam Sandler was definitely unique and key at this moment and happy gilmore really helped launch his career into doing a lot of other movies so it sits here wonderfully comfortable at my number one spot now for my two honorable mentions these are two that almost made the list i do love these films but those other five are more hardcore rewatchable value for me but my two honorable mentions are going to be the wedding singer the first movie that he ever did with drew barrymore and this one is definitely a classic it's got some funny moments in it and iconic moments like the song that he sings about his ex-girlfriend and like how the first part of the song is like lovely and then the second part of the song is horrible drew barrymore is such a sweet and likable character in this movie she's a great actress so wedding singer is definitely a great honorable mention now my other honorable mention is going to be uncut gems and if you haven't seen this one uncut gems is a really good netflix movie that adam sandler was in and it's definitely a different style film that he's ever been in it's more serious he plays this guy who it's about betting on basketball games and sports and everything kevin garnett is in this film too so that's why i like it because it has basketball references and sports references but it's also a serious drama and i think adam sandler really shows his acting range in this film so uncut gems is my other honorable mention 
Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I hope you enjoyed my Adam Sandler list. This is my top five with two honorable mentions. Thanks to the members on my Discord who voted this in and wanted to see this video. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Stick to the channel. Watch some of my other videos. I'll have a card in the top corner with some of my other ranking videos so you can go and check those out. Have a good day, guys. Peace out.